Okay, here is our third lesson for division. So right now we're going to be looking at now grouping things that are already laid out and making them into groups to help us divide. Now, this question involves jacks. Now, I don't know if you've ever played jacks, but jacks are little metal. They almost look like stars and they're all in a pile on the ground and you have a little rubber bouncy ball. When you bounce the ball, in the you just use one hand, you bounce the ball and you pick up as many jacks as you can and you catch the ball. So you do it that way until you pick up all of the jacks. So the question says, Emma and Logan are playing with a ball and 12 jacks each. Emma bounces her ball and scoops up in groups of three. Logan bounces his ball and scoops up in groups of four. Each player stops when all the jacks have been scooped up. How many jacks can each player scoop up? Now, this is a two-part question, just like the one we did yesterday. It is two different parts, so we're going to have to break it down and focus on one part at a time. That's how we get through some of these problem-solving questions. So, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with Emma because she's first. Okay, her name is first. I'm just going to choose Emma. So, she has 12 jacks, and with your counters, you could do something like this. Lay out your 12 jacks, put the rest of your counters aside, and leave them there. Now, Emma bounces her ball and scoops up three jacks. So every time she bounces her ball, she scoops up three jacks. So she bounces, picks up three, bounces, picks up three more, bounces, picks up three more. So I have 12 jacks. Let's see how many bounces that she needs to do before all of her jacks are picked up. So I'm gonna draw loops around each one of them. So she bounces the ball and picks up three jacks. Then she bounces the ball and picks up three more jacks. Then she bounces the ball again, picks up three more jacks, bounces the ball, and picks up three more jacks. So now she's picked up all of the jacks. There's no more jacks left to pick up. How many times did she have to bounce the ball to pick up all of the, the jacks? I can see I have one, two, three, four groups. Now. What does that mean in division sentence? How can we put that in a division sentence? If we have the total number of counters, so this is Emma, the total number of counters that we had was 12. 12 jacks. So I'm going to make my division sentence like this. I had 12 jacks. And they're shared out, or I made groups of three. So if I have 12 jacks and three in each group that I picked up as I scooped, I have one, two, three, four groups. So we're looking now for groups. So then this is the number of groups, or we call that our quotient. Now, Logan, I'm going to do Logan in a green marker. Logan also had 12 jacks. But this time, when Logan bounced his ball and picked up jacks, he picked up four jacks each time he bounced the ball. So we're going to try that. So he bounces the ball, picks up one, two, three, four jacks. Bounces the ball, one, two, three, four jacks. Bounces the ball, one, two, three, four jacks. And now he has them all. So let's look at Logan's now. Logan's is a little bit different. So if we're going to write our division sentence, I start with how many jacks did Logan have? He had 12 jacks. Now, the number of jacks in each group that he grabbed is four. He had four each time he stopped to pick up. So how many times, how many groups did he have? How many times did he need to pick up? One two, three. Now, what we see here is some commutative property. Just like in multiplication, we know that three times four is 12, but so is four times three. Look at what we have here. Emma's is 12 divided by three equals four, and 12 divided by four equals three. They are very similar, but then also different, and you can see how they're different. As you are going through these questions, these ones are a little bit different than sharing out equally. 
This is now finding out how many groups you would have if you started. So if we know how many are going to be pulled from each group, this is how many groups do we have. So when we're talking about grouping to divide and these next group of questions that you're going to do today is about finding out how many groups that you need to have. So yesterday and the day before, we were finding out how many in each group this lesson today and this worksheet today is about how many groups are you going to have if you know how many are going to be in each group. Okay, so another question I have for you. This is one that you're going to do on your own. After you are done watching this video, I want you to count out five counters. Landon has five jacks and he scoops up one jack at a time. He wonders how many groups he can make. So you're going to model the problem. You will write a division sentence. And then you're going to answer the third one. How many groups can he make if he has 20 jacks and he can pick up a different amount? This is a challenge question. Number three is your challenge question. If you complete this after the video, I would like you to write, instead of just writing down underneath, I want you to tell me the division sentence for this first one. And then I want you to tell me what you were able to come up with for a different answer. So if he has 20 jacks and he picks up a different amount each time, how many groups will he have? So instead of just saying done, although you can just say done because this is just a challenge, this is just for fun. Uh, instead of just saying done, you can also write me a division sentence for number three. And it can be a different one. You might see other people's division sentence. See if you can come up with one that's different than other people have put up. But what I really like is if you do it on your own and don't look at what other people have written, try and come up with the answer yourself first and then look and see what other people have used. If you have the same thing that somebody else, you can just say, I have the same as someone else. Okay, awesome. Have a great day, guys.